I worked in hotels and worked long hours. Um, so the, when I came back from work, it, the only alternatives were a, a local supermarket or a takeaway. Um, I wanted the convenience of my local shops, but at a time that suited me. Um, um, the idea created was in Rara's and food. So I love food. Um, there is amazing quality products in these stores that are handmade by these sort of artisan producers, but no one knows about them. And we take away the stress for them by offering an on-demand service um, that suits their customers out with their area. And you go online, it's very simple. You go to their online store, you add whatever products that you want to your basket, then check out, select the date and time when it suits them, and we deliver it. Picked up fresh on the day and delivered to the customer. The ability to have a range of foods delivered to me at my front door uh, is terrific. For what is delivered to me in my box, I would have to travel all over town. I couldn't park, I'd pick up parking fines, so it's been great. Since we joined Entrepreneur Spark, we arrived turning over very little money um, with only a small amount of customers. To date now, we have over 700 registered customers and have grown tenfold in revenue. But he was a classic example of somebody you meet and you think, you are a born entrepreneur, he's got a great background, he's great with numbers, um, he's got lots of great skills that we're going to take him forward. So there, his first impression was, was excellent. Uh, I think one of his challenges has been getting the right kind of suppliers on board. Um, one, I think, has been uh, persuading them to take to get on in the first place. So it was an unknown, you know, untried method of delivering their product. So he could have been anyone virtually. When I first went to the shops, I didn't have a website. I didn't have a business card. I had nothing. I had an idea, a concept. And I think potentially if I had been a bit more prepared or I had a bit more collateral to show them the concept or how it would work, because in, even in myself, I hadn't quite worked it out how it was going to work. But it's, if you look back at it now, actually it was the people, the bigger businesses, that said, you know what, I really like the sound of that, I want to know more. And that's where it all started. I think I've changed dramatically. Um, not in personality, I'm still completely ridiculously flamboyant and entrepreneurial mind frame, but I believe I've become more organised, I've become much more focused. That's what a lot of it, the, what Jim Duff says is about focus, 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 and it is, that's what he teaches, it's about one step at a time. Through Entrepreneur Spark, I won the Go Do Accelerator Award, um, which allowed us to have £3,000 um, to aid us and to boost us, and that paid for our Winter's Foodies Festival. From that, we had over 12 businesses want to sign up, 250 additional customers, and three corporate contracts came from it. It's really nice when he won Accelerate is that he put it immediately into, into use and he went into a winter food festival. So it was a, an instant, you know, the money went in and you could see the effect. So that's a really nice one for Accelerate Award winner. If we hadn't won the Go Do Accelerate Award, we wouldn't have gone, um, which means we would have lost out on those corporate contracts, those additional customers. So it really did accelerate us in our business. We're about to take on a massive corporate contract for 150 flats. Um, as well as a private um, service department. It's a good model, it fits with um, the uh, modern lifestyle where we're also busy but we want to have high quality food. It, it targets people with high disposable income so it's, it's one of my favourite things is always going for deep pockets. So he's gone for the deep pockets. So I think it is a scalable one, it's about how fast he can get to market before somebody else sees his idea. I want to be known as the company, not me personally, but the company that changes the way people shop. And if we can achieve that, if I see someone walking into Waitrose or Sainsbury's with an artisan food bag, then I've won. Because they shop at us more than them and they're doing a top-up shop.